Hi everyone, it's Nishi here. Hope you have a really good day. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is why you shouldn't take tax advice from your friend down the pub. Um, but before I go into that, I just wanted to remind you, we just um, had our fourth episode of our podcast released last week. And um, if you go to our website, naccounting.co.uk, there's a link that will drop down at the top and you'll be able to go see our podcast on YouTube. It's a really good podcast. We interviewed Christina Robinson from Green Umbrella Marketing, and um, she's got some really good insights into how you can grow and scale your marketing and get more customers. So um, what I want to do in this video though is, I just want to talk about why um, you shouldn't take tax advice from people down the pub. And um, I'm, I'm just gonna say people down the pub as a euphemism for loads of other people as well, because um, one of the cliches in accounting is, people go and talk to people down the pub get tax advice and come back to their accountant saying why aren't i doing this and um i just wanted to talk about why it's not always the best idea to do that and there's two things i really want to cover in this video so um the first one is tax is incredibly complicated it's the and even now it's getting more complex like it's the worst i've ever seen it in my entire career the, 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 and there's so many u-turns and so many chances changing and people are um, bringing tax legislation then changing their minds and um it's it's a real minefield at the moment so uh, just some sometimes the whatever the government's saying uh, as a, a you've got to read between the lines and more importantly you've got to read um the actual legislation because they put in lots of um lots of things in there to actually stop people exploiting loopholes and and doing what we call tax avoidance so it's really important that we're um that you're aware of everything to do with a piece of tax advice um, and um, you've had an expert actually check, check that tax advice. And one of the challenges with the people down the pub is um, they they simplify things to the point that it's really attractive to listen to them. Because if if you've got to make a decision, you're you're always want to going to want to talk to the person that can give you the most direct answer. And an accountant can give you a direct answer, but um, quite often they they need to delve into it a bit deeper and, and have more of a discussion. So um, the, the way the person down the pub simplifies, is, uh, simplifies is, is often oversimplifying it and doesn't factor in all the other relevant stuff. Um, the other reason that you really don't want to take a tax advice from the person down the pub, uh, by the way, there might be accountants down the pub and they probably they probably do know what they're talking about, but um, just your average person, um, why you don't necessarily want to take a tax advice from them. Okay, well, sometimes like people get away with something until they don't. And what I mean by that is if, if so, you've got a friend who is doing something wrong with their taxes and they'll say to you, well, you know what, why don't you, you can do this? I've been doing it for years. And I've been fine. Well, HMRC, they can, if they discover it and then they might go back and backdate the issue like, you know, six years. HMRC don't always figure out everything that's going on, going wrong uh, straight away. They can take years to figure it out. So, and the chance, and then when they do, they can, if you owe them tax and you haven't been paying that tax all those years, and they can ask you for the penalties and that tax going back quite a few years. So that's just something to factor in as well. Your, your friend might be getting away with something that they're not doing right, but um, HMRC can still catch up with them later on and, and make them pay. So that's really the other reason you don't just want to um, talk to the person down the pub for your tax advice. So that that's and the reason I'm doing this video is because I sometimes I, I think accountants in this country don't always have the best reputation um I do I've been to other countries where they they like their accountants a bit more than they tend to like them here um but anyway that but what, what happens is I, I just want people to understand you know accountants are, are qualified professionals who've done actually in many cases have done quite a grueling um qualification to, to get those letters after their name. So if if you're not talking to your accountant enough, this is a time to actually start having more conversations with them. Um, and if you if you don't necessarily like what they say, you, all you can really do is just ask them to um, show you some some backing evidence and, and explain why they came to that conclusion. And um, hopefully that's enough to convince you. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to like, share, follow, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.